Hi everyone. How are you today? I am ready to head back to the far, far range. Is it called the far, far range in Slime Rancher 2? It was called that in the first game. But this is the sequel to Slime Rancher, Slime Rancher 2. Um, an absolutely gorgeous, super fun, satisfying, relaxing game, everything, all the above. And I got back into it a few weeks ago and I made a video with you guys uh, talking about how I was having a lot of fun playing it. And you guys really liked the video. Why wouldn't you? Slime Rancher is such a fun game. So, uh oh. How did you get loose, little guy? Let's go put them back in their little chicken bed. Right here. Our little hen hens. This one is a sea hen. Um, oh, is it raining still? I think this is... So I think the video I made with you guys was like the last time I played. Uh, I've been playing some other things since then, like Stardew Valley. And uh, so it must have been raining when we left off. Which, I don't know if you can hear, the music's kind of loud. I'll turn it down. Let's look at the floor market. It changes every day. Those of you who are new to Slime Rancher, the slimes are these little guys. And we're the rancher, the Slime Rancher. And when you feed them, they poop out a plort. And then you sell that for money. And depending on what you do or don't sell in a day, depends on how the market changes. See, this one's going up, and this one's going down. And they're all worth various amounts. If you sell too much, then it's not worth as much. And all the slimes have different diets. These are my newest ones. The Flutter Honey Largos, and they like nectar and fruit, so I have some fruit in there for them to eat, and I'm growing it right here. Uh, these guys, they like to eat the hen hens, so they've caught lots in there. Um, I don't know why they're not eating them, to be honest, because a couple of them look hungry. Do they not see that they can eat the hens? I don't know. And then I have a cave. Is the cave this way? Yeah, this way. And I've got more going on in the cave. I have these little patty slimes, and they like to eat these pomegranates, stony fruits. <laughs> oh, I'm full. Let's feed the the patty slimes. Oops, I missed. And see the plorts. <sighs> they should be nice and full now. Where's that one? That where did it go? All the way over here. <laughs> Lots of plorts. So usually I wait to see what's high on the plort market and then I'll feed that slime and collect the plorts, sell them in the market and make money. I got some fire slimes here. They're hungry and water puddle slimes. They're very cute. And uh Hunter slimes, they're carnivores. I think that's all I've got going on in here. I have a new message at the comm station. What's over this way? Okay. The game is full of like little secrets and adventures, and so you have to explore the world, and it's just so good. And the game is still in early access, but it's very, it's very fun so far. I, 
I wonder when it's gonna leave early access because it's doing really good, it seems. Hold on. Oh, it's just a pink slime. They're like the most basic of slimes. And their plorts are like worth the least, so I don't keep them anymore. Let's see what the message I have is. It's from our friend Victor. Beatrix, I have something I'm gonna share with you about the AI. I don't remember what you were talking about with AI. Okay, they've been exchanging questions. <laughs> Victor assumed it was evolving and adapting, but then something happened. They began playing a game. And the games would go long into the night. And so would the conversations. One more game. Victor needed a cup of coffee. And it replied, me too, I need coffee. And then it disconnected. So is it AI or is it a person that needs coffee? Okay, bye Victor. He's a fun guy. Very smart and nerdy. So, I'm going to go off exploring again. There's um, a couple of worlds that I have unlocked. We can look at the map here. So. Rainbow Fields, that's what it's called, not the Far Far Range. And this is Ember Valley that I've unlocked. And Starlight Strand. I don't think I went here in the last video, so we're gonna go there and take a look. Avoiding the pink slimes as we go. Should maybe get some like food. I feel like it's always a good thing to hold on to some different kinds of food, so I'll get some pogo fruit and some carrots. I like the bunny ones, but they also are not worth a lot anymore, so I know and gave them. Uh oh, there's a tar right there. What's it doing? I don't remember how to get to where I'm supposed to go. Ooh. It's a cave. It's actually, it's around here, isn't it? It's over there. Okay. I'm gonna get back over there. The tar is what happens when a largo, which a largo is made from when one slime eats the plor of another slime and then turns into a combo of both. And then if that if that slime eats a third party slime, <laughs> then it turns into a tar. And they're just these evil, vicious things that know my carrots. <laughs> that demolish everything in its path, and it's just very destructive, and it could hurt us. So we avoid them. I always try to keep the meat on me in case I run into the lucky slime, the lucky cat. Look how pretty it is here, isn't it just beautiful? These little pools of water. I've unlocked a new kind of path here. So we see some angler slimes and rock and some combos of both angler and rock. This place is kind of split in like different colors, so there's like this yellow bit, the blue, and the pink, and I've got two Gordo slimes that I have not fed yet, but I unlocked this little shortcut back to the portal to take me back home. I just heard chicken. I'll pick it up. You never know if I'm gonna run into it lucky slime and you have to feed them very quickly and they give you money. It's good. Oh, look. This is like a little present and I just kind of like pew, and it gives me money and food and stuff. We can't swim, so we're not gonna go in the water. I don't know where I'm going because I don't actually know this area very well yet. I seem to be going down the blue path. Ooh, it's very pretty here. It's 
beautiful everywhere actually, it's just a gorgeous game. So there's some dangerous slimes this way it seems. Oh, that's where they are. They're feral and they will attack you. Um, oh, silky sand. Oh, there you are. This is the hunter gordo and they eat meat. Let's see if we can collect as many chickens as possible. Who's got chickens? Who's got chickens? Maybe there are some in here, although this is the dangerous- I hear? I hear one. That's you. Okay. Other than the dangerous slimes and the tars, it's a very calm, relaxing sort of game that is really quite stress-free. I just love it. Um, it's it's super satisfying. It's kind of addicting. It's really fun, and I I can't recommend it enough. Whenever anyone asks, you know, do you do you like playing the game? Do you recommend it? Of course. I absolutely recommend it. Oops. I think I- well that- okay, that was just slightly mean. I apologize everyone. That was just a little bit cruel. <laughs> looking for chickens. Yeah, the problem is though that I'm looking for chickens, but will I be able to find my way back to where I was with the uh, the big guy. There's a roostro, and that is the favorite food of the hunter slime, I think, if I'm, if I'm recalling correctly. Give me more chickens, come on. I feel like I'm moving far away in the opposite direction. Wait, that guy was brand new. Did you see that? He had not been on my map prior to this, so I had not seen him before. So that's a brand new Gordo slime. Whoops, it just draws a need to be levitating. Brand new Gordo slime that I just unlocked with you. Oh, I've been in here before. I don't know how to... Maybe I can go in here, this little cave. Okay, now I'm in the pink area. How do I get back? I don't have that many chickens, like, you're supposed to feed it enough to burst the Gordo slime. Which also sounds pretty cruel, but I think that, uh, I think that they're okay with it. For the most part. Hard to say. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is not enough. I hear the chickens. Here we go. There's some back here. Behind the waterfall. Oh, and here. How do I get back to where I was? Every slime's got a favorite food. Oh, there's a lot here. This is perfect. No. Oh, rude. Can't believe it. Oh, that one is a uh, a different kind, and my inventory's full, so. But I want as many chickens as I can get, you know. Okay. Any more? The false first slimes have come out now because it's night. Aren't they cute? And they are sensitive to light, so they disappear when it turns into the day. Unless you keep them in like a dark place like a cave. Like the cave I have back home. Or this cave in here. See, I mean, these guys are, like, mean and dangerous, but you can just kind of easily walk away from them, so it's very chill in that regard. Oh, did I- did I get it? Pretty sure I did. But are there more? More chickens anywhere? Again, I need to actually find my way back. I don't know. It's easy to get lost in this game when you're new. You don't know all the ins and outs. Okay, wait, I... 
this is- oh, I'm actually quite close, so I went this way, and... Oh, there's a tar over there. Did I go this way, the direction of the tar? I don't really want to go over here. There you are, okay. So I'll give you this, and I think this is your favorite, yeah. They had a little heart. As you can see, it's growing bigger and bigger. But see, all that, and we still didn't burst the Gordo. So we're back on another chicken hunt. But I'm gonna wait. If we blast them with water, we can get rid of them. Like, if I go like that, they, they will go in the water. You have to be careful, though, because they could bite you. They can bite. See, I've got my little health bar on the bottom left, like... 150. Well, I'm gonna try to fly over here. I like upgrading my- oh, there you are. I hear them sometimes. I like upgrading my, um, what would this be called? Hover <laughs> jetpack, jetpack. I like upgrading my jetpack because it's very fun to jetpack around. I still feel that Slime Rancher is a bit of an uh, underrated gem of a game. I think I, or I thought it was quite popular, but then I always hear people saying that they've never heard of it before. Um, surprising to me, you know. We're gonna need more than two, you know. We're gonna need a lot more than two. Oh, look how pretty it is right here. Some sort of uh, I don't know what you call that. A rift. A rift in the space-time continuum. And you see there's another Gordo up there. And that one is a Flutter one, if I look at the Slimepedia. They like nectar. And their favorite is Moondew nectar. Actually, I think Moondew nectar is as it the name would imply only appears at night. I can't remember how to how to get it though. It just like grows on like something around. Let me see if I can find this nectar. Oh, but there's chickens and I should be getting the chickens before these little hungry slimes eat all of them. My chickens, my chickens. Stop eating my chickens. It's so pretty right here. There's so many just little gorgeous spots in the game. Ouch. That guy hurt me. I mean, he didn't mean to. It's not his fault. I won't hold it against him. He just likes to roll around and he's spiky and we can't fault him for that. It's his nature to be spiky. Okay. Well, I am not seeing the nectar. What is going on up there? I don't remember, to be honest. And the, since the game's a work in progress, uh, the story's a work in progress, so uh, I don't think that's finished. Uh, okay, eight is good. Eight is very good. Where is this moon do nectar, though? And I know that you can't, you can't farm it. I remember reading that. The nectar can't be farmed. It has to be, um, like, organically harvested just from this specific area. <gasps> That's it. There we go. Alright, one Moondew nectar acquired. Now I really question where I'm gonna get the rest, because, like, you, s you see how much chickens, how many chickens it's taking to feed the Gordo. Can you imagine how, there's one, how much nectar it's gonna take? What is that? I hear a jingling. What is that? Do you hear that? I thought that the jingling might have meant like a golden slime. And it's stuff because there's these, um, some of them are golden. The gold 
sun slime is the rarest slime and you feed it you cannot get it in the backpack what what is that jingling oh there's one where is it where is it where is it oh no it, don't ruin our fun i think it was i keep getting just confused it, they're not golden slimes they just happen to be gold man that is really uh the jingling was so so specific though. I do see one moon dew nectar way up there where my crosshairs. Um I'm on the great nectar slash uh chicken hunt. Oh, there's a bunch of chickens up here. Do you see them? Oh, I may have gotten a little slime I did not mean to. By the way, um, if you don't like these tars and the noises and all that, you can just go here. No, not go here. You can just turn them off. You can just turn them all off, which sometimes I do. I think I might have done in my last video. How do I get that? Cause, cause it is. Yeah, it's a little stressful, and that's fine. You're allowed to not like it. There we go. See how many... See how you can, like, solve little puzzles by just jumping and using your jetpack. It's so fun. Oh, there's another one. Right, so I thought I was going to struggle finding them, but they're doing pretty good. Because I, I turned it off, you may be wondering why they're still there. Well, they're still there because, um, I, I can't get rid of active tars, it will just prevent future tars, you know? It'll, it'll stop future outbreaks, but... Oh, there we go. Look at this guy. The Flutter Ringtail Largo. How cute is that? You're adorable. Some of them have, like, a real f cute, unique, um, kind of personality. So some of them, like, jump towards you. Oh, and look at that. I unlocked part of the map. Although it's, um, very large and confusing looking still. Do you have a nectar? No. But you can see the flowers now. So, oh, there's another one. So we do see where they would be appearing. Oh, there's a chicken over there. There's also a chicken down here. I'll take that one. I haven't gotten the upgrade yet that allows me to hold water. That's something I should think about getting. And that allows you to blast the, um, the tars with water. Effectively, like, getting rid of them. Okay. So we're doing great. We're doing awesome, I think. Um, gonna make my way back and see how these 21, uh, chickens it does. Meanwhile, looking out for Moondu. What is this? A mushroom that I can't really do anything with. Okay. Uh, and then I'll feed the Moondu to our, our friend. Have I read this? The mush dry mushrooms on the island are responsible for maybe the greatest mycological discovery of my life. Sorry, but it's a secret. Kind of rude. Not sure in the secret. I love mushrooms. Tell me the secret. Where, where was that? I'm like right above it. I believe it was this way. I believe. Weren't you somewhere around here? Oh look, a cave. Have I been in here? I get easily distracted in this game. Yeah, I think we came in here earlier and there was a feral slime, but because I turned them off, feral slime friend is now gone. Wait, wait, don't you dare. You were gonna eat that chicken, I know it. Not if I can help it. So, because it's a uh, day now, 
the Mundu nectar is probably gone. So we'd have to wait for have to wait for the next night cycle. Oh my god, how much can you see is shaking though, so we're almost there. Oh that was Hungry guys, I can believe it. I'm gonna look for just a few more. I I reckon less than ten. I think less than ten will do it. That's three. How many more do you think we should get? Tell me. If I give him a rustro, the favorite foods I'm pretty sure count as like double. They count as two. So this makes me feel like this is good. Let's try it. Let's try a few. And there's one more. Come on, that should be good, right? Right. Two regular hen hens, three painted hen hens, and one rooster. Let's start with the rooster. It's your favorite. Painted hen hens, and <gasps> we did it. With one hen hen to spare, you guys get to eat it. Aren't they cute? They're like, they're the ones that jump all around you. They're like, kind of like a, I don't know, like a cat, a ra raccoon, and then they're friendly. So now we can look in this cave. What have we unlocked? Oh, a secret. These are treasures. And they usually have like blueprints inside them. Dainty teacup. This delicate teacup perfectly fits slimes or secret off inside. It's never practical to fill it with tea. What? I want that. I want to build that. It requires 10 puddle plorts, 5 primordial oils, and 500 coins. Well, I have the primordial oil. Um, and I have puddle plorts. Or I have puddle slime. So I can get and I have quite a bit of money, so. Oh look, there's also a uh, bountiful teacup. I have never heard of storm glass. So, uh, no clue. Yes, hello guys. <laughs> no clue what that is. Or how to harvest it. Gosh, there's so many mysteries in this game. Oh, and this is blocked. So, I'm just gonna look. So on the other side will be something to unlock that. Uh, let me go feed my Moondoo Nectar to that, uh, what are they called? Flutter. Flutter Gordo. And then I'll probably head home. Call it a day. It's been a, it's been a good day. Popped a Gordo. Which feels really mean. I know. Yeah, it was this way, right? I think the jingling is just another slime, but I tend to get, like, so... I hear jingling, you know, and I just, like, go crazy because they're so rare, these the golden slimes or the maneki slimes, that you, you tend to kind of freak out a little bit when you see them. And you tend to kind of panic. Why am I holding on to this guy? Why am I holding on to him? But I'm a little um, nervous about adding him to this ecosystem because then I could create a. Th well, no, I turned Tars off, so. It's actually, you go live with them now. Hi there. Aren't you pretty? Have some nectar. And even though uh, we're gonna leave, that should save. What is going on over here? Whoa! That is cool, isn't it? What a beautiful world. Alright, so we will leave this Flutter Gordo for another day, and we will head home. Yeah, Nectar seems to be a thing that you just can't, like, farm as far as I know, which is why I turned mine into Largos. You saw them back at my farm. 
on my ranch, I turned the, my flutters into flutter honey combos, and then I feed them fruit, which is what the honey slimes like. So that way I can feed them fruit and I get two kinds of plorts. I get the honey plorts and the flutter plorts and it all scrammed and good. You can run, but I find that the move speed is pretty fast and it's often fun to kind of slow down and enjoy the beautiful scenery, so no need to run really. Look at this, look how beautiful this is right here. Little waterfall inside this cave. See, this is a door I opened by putting in the correct matching plort. I can see that that was a, a honey slime that's got the little honeycomb symbol. So I just found a honey plort and I popped it in there and it opened up the. It opened up that door. Keeping some veggies and some fruit on me just in case I run into something. I don't know. I don't know what it would be. And then we, we go home this way. And now we're back. Oh, that's a lot of chickens. Would have been useful earlier, huh? So this is, this is home. The Rainbow Island and it's so gorgeous. All the colors. I mean, look at the grass. They've really done such a good job, Monomi Park, uh, at making such a colorful, lovely world that's uh, even more fun than the original Slime Rancher somehow, which is really saying something because myself and others really played the heck out of that game. Um, I was really sad to run out of content, and I did. I mean, I really, there was just nothing else to do. That's weird. Why are there tars here? Why is the tar music playing? I, I mean, there's there's no real proper ending. You can play the game as long as you want, just keep branching slimes, but once you've explored the whole world, there's no more secrets, you've kind of finished the story, and there's not a whole lot else to do, you know? So, oh, and I've got another message. Let's see who's called me this time. Who is it? It's Ogden, Ogden Ortiz. Hola, Beatrix. It's good to see you. Uh, Ogden's quite like the, the chef. Um, so he's always like giving us, I don't know, food related things. The plot has thickened like a good sauce. Do you hear my PC? I don't know why it's. Hold on. You've encountered some kind of monolithic structure out there. Scary stuff. Yeah, they're all thinking that, um... Yeah, basically it's so beautiful, <laughs> but pe the theory is that it's deceptively beautiful, like there's something wrong here. I don't know, I'm, in I'm intrigued, and I don't know how much of the story is actually done. Um... What was it that we needed to make that teacup? It was like 10 puddle plorts. I'll go get 10 puddle plorts. If I have 10. Oh, this is not the right way. There's other uh, parts of my ranch that I have not unlocked. I've just unlocked the, the one over here, the cave. Pew, this one, yeah. Kind of trying to make more money to uh, to afford the rest. Okay. Puddles. And you know what? Let's feed the fire slimes by giving them some nutrition. 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 I really struggle to say this. Nutritious ash. Okay, I'll get the rest. I'll just get them all. Oops, I I picked up some little puddles. Oopsie. Okay. So I've got 16. I only need 10 for the recipe. Then I go to my little underground lab, which is, as I said, underground. <laughs> Over here, here's my home. You can go in it, but you can't really go in it, you know what I mean? I go down here, and then I put 10 in this thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then let's look at their decorations. Teacup. I want to make it, make a little teacup. And then you press like T, right? Oh, you should get this teacup. I have actually no idea what to do with it. I mean, someone, one of my slimes, I feel like, is gonna get. I, I think the honey slimes, I just really love them. They're so cute, plus, like, tea and honey. That sounds perfect, right? Oh, I can't put it in here. Oh, it's weird. Okay, what if I put it out here and then these little pink slimes can have it? Like, right here. You guys wanna sit in it? Anyone want to sit in this teacup? <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait, does he just sit there forever? Does he just not leave? Well, that's adorable. I do feel that I've trapped and imprisoned that slime. We're not going to talk about that. And then the last thing I was going to do is I was just going to check the blur market and see if anything is a really good deal. the uh, under ones, which I could have had some, but I didn't. Oh well. Uh, actually, the puddle ones are rising, so, and I have yet another message, but that's okay. We're not gonna, we're not gonna listen to that right now. I'm gonna stop here. I hope you had a good, good time with me. Um, another beautiful day in Rainbow Island, this lovely, lovely world, isn't it? sun is setting and um, I hope you had fun if, if this didn't convince you to pick up Slime Rancher I mean this isn't sponsored or anything it's just genuinely a favorite game of mine it's so fun and I hope you had a cozy day with me exploring the whatever that island is called the, the, the new one I've already forgotten but I'm not gonna open my map to look at it thank you guys so much for watching Thank you for chilling out with me. I had a good time. If you want to help the algorithm, you can uh, leave a like or a comment, whatever you want. Tell me your favorite kind of slime if you're if you're a slime rancher player. And uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I post three relaxing videos a week. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye everyone. I love you. Night night. See